Now wait for a moment. If we did for a moment, now click on yes. Okay. Now click on yes. All right. All right. Yep. Yeah. Now you are successfully connected with the secure server. Yeah. I request to you don't touch your mouse, please. Okay. And you will see that moving mouse. Sorry, what's that? Do you see that moving cursor, moving mouse? Yeah, I see my cursor's moving. Is yeah, that you? It's me, sir. It's me. Okay. Okay. I thought it was the hackers. Nothing to worry about it. Okay. Okay, let me check. Let me yeah. check what the problem facing at the moment. Okay. This is the problem? Yeah. Let me check. Let me check. Your computer has been blocked. Your computer has a lot of those status has been infected with the virus and spyware. The following information has been stolen. Facebook login, credit card, details, email accounts, all information on this computer. So just tell me one thing, sir. What do you mostly browse in your computer? Like Facebook, online music, shopping, banking, videos. What do you browse most of the time? Yeah, each and everything. I browse each and everything. And who is the owner of this computer, sir? I'm the owner. Okay, let me go ahead and diagnose your computer, sir. After that, let you know why you are getting the problem. And I'll fix it for you, right? So it will take some time. Please have a patience. Okay, yeah. It will take around 5 to 10 minutes. Alright. Please have a patience. I'm checking one by one. It's just wait for a moment. Okay. Yeah. It's when was the last time your computer was got service, sir? When you got service of your computer last time? I think I had the oil changed about six months ago. And can you see this your warning, <laughs> warning, 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 error, 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 error. Can you see this? Yeah, I see all that. Yeah, what's that? As you can see here, from top to the bottom, there is lots of errors and warnings inside your computer. There's what? There's a lot of impacts, so lots of errors, lots of warnings here. Can you see this here? Yeah, I see, yeah. It's, it's a very, very harmful impact. It's, a very, it's a, a very, very harmful impact. So it makes your computer slower, it makes your computer impacted. Can you see this number of events? Yeah, I see that. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a big number, isn't your it? Having, your computer having more than 1,000 number of errors and warnings, sir, right? Yeah. Can you imagine how much it's impacted right now? Okay. It's a very huge impact on your computer. That is the reason your computer is working very slow, okay? Alright. So let me take another thing here. I just got this. This computer is supposed to be really fast. And can you see you're running? Stop, 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 stop. Okay. Stop. Can you see this? Yeah. Most of the services have been stopped here. Can you see this? Stop, 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 right? The stop, the stop, so stop, yeah, hour, yeah, yeah. Maybe in one hour, maybe in one hour, two hours, your computer can be crashed. You cannot okay. lose your computer. You can lose your safe data, whatever you have in your computer. Can you see this? Yeah. Most of the services are they stop here. And that is the reason that you are getting the problem. That is the reason you are getting the uh, notifications at your computer. Can you see this? Yeah. Your computer has been blocked, right? You must contact immediately so that your engineer can walk you through the remote process over the phone. Please call us within the next five minutes to prevent your computer from the being stolen, being disabled, right? Yeah. So, sir, it might be possible in one hour your computer is going to be disabled, right? It might be possible it will be disabled, right? So, okay. before that, let me go ahead and find out what is the main reason. Why you are getting the problem into your computer, after that I'll fix it for you, okay? Okay. So I am going to run a DP scan inside your computer with the help of this scan. We will come to know what exactly the problem is. Okay. okay. So it will take two or three minutes. Please have a patience. All right. Now what you see? Sorry, what's that? This is scanning. This is very deep scan into your computer. Okay. It will I'd... take one or two minutes. Please have a patience. Okay. All right. It's going deep into my computer and scanning. Yeah. Well, what's it scanning for? Any unauthorized assets? It will come to know what exactly the problem is, okay? Okay. It will come to know what exactly the problem is, what is the main reason why you are getting the problem, okay? Alright. Then after I'll fix it for you. Okay. Just tell me one thing, sir. How many devices connected with the same network in your home? Uh, well, i got this computer. i got another computer as well. I've got a phone, smart TV. Mm -hmm. I've got a smart car as well. Mm -hmm. 
And I got a smart toilet. What's that? Can you see this here? Yeah. This is warning stage of network has been impacted. Can you see this? Yeah. So let's see, this is the problem, right? This is the main problem, sir. It yeah. might be possible, it might be possible, sir, you will face same problems in your other computer also, right? Other devices also, sir. Because this is the network problem. Whenever you are using your internet, this impact will get downloaded automatically into your computer, right? Because the computer having a lot of impactors here, the huge impactors, more than thousands of impactors, yeah. and you're scanning stage to you. This is problem, this problem is coming to your network, right? Because your network has been impacted. Okay. Right? Alright. And one more thing we found is here, can you see this clumpy virus form? Yeah. Do you know about it? Oh, it's some sort of bad virus, is it? Let me, let me show you what is the exact meaning of clumpy. So it seems to me this is the malicious program. Okay. This is the malicious program which are running to your computer. So let me show you what is the exact meaning of Plumpy, okay? Alright. Just wait for a moment. Yeah, it's Let's lagging. Let's open up Wikipedia. It might be possible, sir, your computer, or, uh, right? You'll face the same problem in your mobile, your smart TV, your other computer. Okay? So you should, to, uh, you should to remove this type of infections from the computer as soon as possible but because it's continuously corrupted your operating systems here. Okay. Let me check what is the exact meaning of clamping. Okay. Can you see this? Yeah. Just read it please. Oh, can you read it for me? Oh, I don't have my glasses on. You read it. You read it. I can't read it without my glasses. I don't have my glasses. Let me read it for you. Let me okay, read it for thank you, right? you, sir. Clampy is a man in the browser Trojan that can transmit financial and personal information from a compromised computer to a third party, right? A Clampy third party. was first observed in 2007 and only affects computer running Microsoft Windows. It is primarily targeted at utilities, market research, films, online casino and career sites. Joe Stewart of Secure Work said that it is one of the largest and most professional saving operations on the intranet. Alright, so, so the they're doing a better job than you if they're the most professional thieving operations on the internet, eh? Sorry? Uh, I'll, I'll continue on, sir. I, I don't really want to repeat what I that said. Means, that <laughs> means someone tried to connect with your computer without your knowledge. Okay. So just tell me one thing, how many people are using your computer? Um, just me. Let me check your network, sir. Let me check your network. Okay. It seems to me someone tried to hack your computer. Oh, no. <laughs> Can you find out where the hackers are from? Sorry? Do you know where the hackers are from? Are they hackers? And if so, do you know where they're from? Let me check, let me check, okay? Okay. Let me tell you. Can you see this your net stat? Yeah. That means that this is your network status, right? Okay. And just below it, could you see this active connections? Yeah. That means how many active connections in your computer? And just below it, could you see this, uh, just wait here, could you see this local address? Yeah. This is your IP address, sir. You can call it your network address as well. It's more like your computer identity. Okay. okay. And next to you, you can see this foreign address. Alright. That means that someone got control over your computer from out of the country, sir. They are not yeah. from Australia, they are from out of the country. Yeah, do you know what country they're from? I think I do. I'm sure they are hackers, <laughs> right? They hide their IP address and they are using your IP address, sir, because they are connected with your IP address. Yeah, yeah I think there's right? one from India. Uh, Is there one from India? Sorry? Continue sorry? on, continue on, sir. I do know, sir, right? Any uh, any country, it might be possible yeah. any country belongs to, right? But can you see this here? There is not exact IP address here. Can you see this? Yeah. Just wait for a moment. Can you see this IP address? Yeah. dot like, like that. But this one is like any unprofessional and unsuccessful number here, right? 
that means they are hired your IP address sir. Okay. Okay. Just wait sure it will be open right now. Alright. And next to it you can see this stage. Yeah. That means the status of factors and most of them has already established here. Can you see this established, 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 established? Yeah. These people are connected with your computer without your knowledge as this case of foreign hacking case then I must tell you one thing. That hacker can misuse your computer for some illegal activities, sir. They can accessing your email, your credit card information, your banking information. <laughs> Whatever you have your computer, they can misuse without your knowledge. Okay. Right? All so right. Just tell me one thing, do you have any kind of security for your computer? Um, I don't know, sorry. I'm not really sure. I'm not very tech savvy. Well, let me check. Okay. Let me show you what you need to do right now, okay? All right. Can you see this? Um, see yeah. this? All right, yeah, I see this and that. Can you see this firewall? Yeah, I see a brick wall, yeah. So you, it's a nice you brick wall. You don't have this firewall. You don't have this firewall. That is the reason you are facing the viruses, hackers, and it's fire notifications that your computer is right. So oh, what okay. you need to do is so you need to this firewall to block hackers and to remove malicious program which are running to your computer. After then your computer will be working perfectly fine. Okay. All right. Okay. So without wasting your time, I'm going to fix your problem as soon as possible. All right. Okay. Just wait till let me open up a notepad so that you can easily understand what what needs to be done. Okay. Yeah. So first of all, sir, your network is being hacked. That is the reason I'm going to assign a network engineer for you. All right. Okay, and it will take, they will remove all hackers and it will take some time, so like 90 to 120 minutes. Okay. Okay? Yeah. And first of all, sir, I am going to service your computer, okay? You gonna what, sorry? First of all, I am going to service your computer. Okay, service it. You gonna change the oil on it or something? Sorry? You gonna change the oil or the timing belt or something? What, what are you gonna do? I'm going to service your computer in which we are going to remove all infections like viruses, spyware, malware, trojan. Okay. Right? In which we are going to remove all infections like virus, spyware, yeah. malware, trojans, clampy, and hackers. Okay. okay. Okay, in future you will not face any kind of hacking problems, that's why I'm going to install the security software, sir, which is the original valid license key from Microsoft. Alright. Can you service my smart car as well? I've got a smart car, can you service that? Sorry? I've got a smart car here, can you service this? I have a problem with that. What? Can you read that? A warning your smart driver lease car has become self-aware. Yeah. Then, what do you want? Oh, can you fix that? What do I click on? What do you want to fix? You want to fix your car? Or you want to fix yeah. your computer? I want both fixed. What What do I click on? Do I click OK? And I get this. Hang on. Did it work? I didn't click on it properly. Mm -hmm. Can you read that too? Yes, yes. Oh, click on OK. Mm hmm. You clicked on it too quickly, but yeah. Yes. You're the mother chode. You're the mother chode. You are. You're the scamming mother chode. I got a smart toilet I too. Can with, you fix I this? You can see I'm, I'm scamming with you. What? Yeah, you're a scamming mother chode. Okay, you're a mother chode, right? No, you're the mother chode. You're the scamming no, mother chode. No, see, look at this. Look at this shit, I can delete that. I'm not stupid. And now I can hit backspace. You just type that shit, it's fixed. You're a dirty, rotten, scamming piece of shit. Oh, so what you've done this session. Go away, motherfucker. Why did you call me? I'm going to call you again and again. Uh, you hung up the phone as well. Well, those scammers um, currently not blocking silent numbers. 
So if you want to give them a call, you can try, but they're probably going to start blocking silent numbers soon. That's an Australian number. I suggest using Skype if you're overseas. If you're in Australia, um, you can use yeah, Skype as well or an, um, just a silent number. Don't display your real number to them. And this does very little reporting them. Let's see if they're answering something. I'll give them a quick call back. Yes, I'm up to <laughs> Hey, hey, I've got a problem with my computer. What are you doing? <laughs> he answered it. Oh, he's paranoid already. One prank call I've done and, you know, ring him back with another silent number and uh, he had no idea that was me for certain. He's just paranoid. I'll ring him back again. Try to sound a different voice. Uh, he's blocked, uh, blocking the silent numbers. <laughs> I'll have to um, get some throwaway numbers and ring him later. But um, yeah, when it comes to calling these scammers, making them paranoid certainly works. One one scam bait, and he's blocking silent numbers, not answering. He's gotten paranoid, so for the next hour, I don't think anyone's going to fall victim to him.